Receiving simulator transmission. Uploading transmitted feed. Initializing playback sequence. Log execute. Hey everyone, Cypher here, and welcome back to Cypher Plays Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelists of the Roses. In the last episode, we faced down Weevil and his insect deck in Chester, and made to... Um, <clears throat> and ended up beating him rather easily because of his much more simple field compared to Rex Raptor. Today, we will be going to St. Albans to challenge Darkness Ruler, aka Panic. So, let's go. You dare to challenge the Dark Deck of the Darkness Ruler? Rose Duelist, or not, you don't stand a chance. Alright. So... Pretty much as I said with Weevil, all of the Rose Crusaders fight on fields that are going to benefit them. Case in point, Panic here has a field has a field that's mainly darkness, which will power up his fiends and it'll also power up spellcasters, among other things. So I'm just gonna put down my swordsman from a foreign land and then maybe move around, see what I can do. Okay. Well, this would be a good start out. Let's just keep Giltia there, and maybe, if we're lucky, we can just manage to... Okay, he's going to be increasing the power of whatever he sends out at us. What should we do now? Okay, I don't really have any solid ideas, so when in doubt... Get rid of your entire hand. And send the strongest card upward. So let's just see what we can do. Despite powering himself up, seems to be playing very defensively, so let's just... Okay... Probably a waste, but I'm gonna need to do this. See what we can do. Let's see. Oh, I can easily. I infuse these two because I'm pretty sure that'll create yep, flame swordsman. Which not as useful, but could be somewhat useful, so let's just wait and see what he does. I'm actually gonna pull flame swordsman back. Old guilty at back. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try this. Yeah, I didn't expect that to work, so. 
Just getting rid of cards. Hopefully I can pull either my trump card or saw again to transform the field. Because right now he's just hunkered down. And of course I can't. You know what? I'm just gonna do that. Let's just bring out something at least a little stronger. Should be able to establish a good foothold because all of his fiends will be powered down by the Sagan field. It should mean good news for us. Of course, he ended up having a trap right there. He's, he plays very defensively, I can tell. Well, might as well. <clears throat> Toss that card because I don't imagine it'll be no use. And use all of our cards. Now we know what his cards are, so go in there. And of course his trap activated, so that's probably gonna weaken me. And spellbind me for a turn. Luckily that trap gone. Just put this down there. Hopefully next turn we can move over and get up the rest of his field. Okay, that's gonna hurt a little.
Okay, let's see, what do I have that I can use? Okay, well, first things first. Just gonna extend whatever I can because I can't move forward. And I thought his fiend was weakened by that, but I guess not. So... Let's just... Go tactical player. Or not. Dang it. Oh, I have an idea for what we can do going forward, so this is probably going to eat up a few life points, but I need to make at least some move. Is that hey okay. well at least we did a little damage and now we know what that card is paralyzing pool potion okay don't move any of my monsters onto that Swordsman from a foreign land into a position where I think he's gonna end up sending. And let's just get rid of these two. Cyber Soldier just to get rid of that. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to press the attack with that Summon Skull, we are going to put Swordsman from a Foreign Land in Defense Mode. got my trump card, so I'm gonna hold off for now. Let's see what he does. Because now we have a means to actually fight back. Get rid of his summon skull. Attack into Cyber Soldier with that big eye. Take a bit of damage.
And let's just throw out... A few more cards just to really make the damage go. Okay, Fiend and Beast apparently does that, which probably should have expected that, but oh well. And let's just destroy this big guy. I probably could have done more damage with Empress Judge, but I don't trust that Paralyzing Poison. What is that? A Hunter. A little, much, but nothing I can't come back from. Oh, geez, that's strong. That's really strong. Okay, that's a bit of a concern. Yeah, Zara the Mance. That's pretty powerful. Luckily, I think I got just the ticket. Probably all gonna come down to one monster left in my deck, but I don't really have many options. All right. Well. Just in case he has a trap. Gonna attack with Empress Judge first. Expected. Now we'll go here, and because of our extended support range, we'll see if he has another trap. He doesn't, thankfully. And now we'll attack with Sword Stalker, whose special effect in this game allows him to gain 100 points to his attack for every monster in your graveyard, so... Nuke. And just like that, we've won. Now it's just time for some graveyard slots, I'm not gonna bother. Oh, we got three King of Yami Mukai's. And for that, we got a Labyrinth Tank, which is one of the few monsters in this game that can actually pass through Labyrinth terrain. Probably not going to make use of it, but interesting to have. No! How can it be? How could I lose? And with that, we have our third White Rose card. And with that, we've got another path to Keith. However, I will not be challenging Keith. I actually have to take some time now because I intend to challenge Necromancer next. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Until next time, stay gold. Playback sequence terminated. Transmission disconnected.